Okay. So thanks, Chair. Um, just as Chair said there now, we use teamwork. Uh, we use teamwork and a couple of other tools, and uh, I'm just going to talk about how we use them together. So the main tools I'll talk about are teamwork, Bitbucket, and Deploy HQ. And um, so teamwork, if you don't know it, it's 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 a project management tool. You can do uh, you can have tasks, notes, milestones, billing, invoicing. There's a lot in it. Um, we use it mainly for tasks. Uh, we allow we ask the client to log in and any, any work they want us to do, they, we add them, ask them to add it directly there. We use Bitbucket to store the code for every project, and we use Deploy HQ then to push that code from Bitbucket onto one or more supposed to go. Um, it, as a developer, your workflow might be something along the lines of emailing or phoning your client back and forth all the time. You might go to your editor then and start writing your code. You might be FTPing it up onto a server. Then you might be opening up the browser manually, pressing buttons to make sure it works. And then you might be going back into teamwork or your emails to respond back to the client and uh, to talk about it. And then you might be going through a loop like that. So that's, that's, where, that's kind of where we started off a long time ago and we've tried to improve it then to try and to do a few things, to give the client more visibility on what's going on. Done? Are they? Are we working, making progress? Uh, to allow the developer to see what the client is asking for and talk directly with them. So just try and bring it all into one place rather than it being very separate. Um, our kind of earlier uh, attempts at this were weren't so good. A client could log directly into Teamwork, add some tasks, we'd work on them, mark them as done, and we think we're we're doing well at that. But then the client would log in, the, the task list is empty, and they'd think, "Oh, great, the work is done." They'd go look at their site. Um, see nothing is there yet and they'd wonder, they'd start ringing us up then wondering why the task list looks done and there's nothing on in the site. So we had to kind of improve that a little bit too. So what I want to do is just improve all of that, get rid of all the mess and make it as simple as possible to go for, from clients asking us to do work for us to getting it done and moving on to the next thing as quick as possible. So how we do all of this is that we use, we're using tools like Teamwork, Bitbucket and Deploy HQ, and luckily they all have things called webhooks and APIs to allow them to talk to each other. So that's how we do all the bits and pieces that we do. Um, this is how we go about things. Um, we start off in Teamwork, that's where we try and organize everything. Every client of ours has a project, one or more projects in Teamwork. All the work we're doing for them is in there, whether they log in directly or they, we sit down and meet them and put all the tasks in there, but ultimately everything is in there. When a task is then added to it, we use a Teamwork uh, webhook called Task Created. So as soon as something lands in Teamwork, Teamwork fires off to a PHP script we've written, grabs the details of the task, and updates the description to put a number in there, just so we, we number absolutely everything. Uh, it's not too easy, easy to see there, but what happens if you put in a task like add a new button, the description gets updated to tell you what the, num the task number is. That's not too useful to the client, but to the developer, when they're finishing that task, they can include that number. And it's, it's quite intuitive to use for a developer because we worked with a client and they had developers of their own and they just saw this day one, we didn't have to describe it to them, they just saw that they could include these numbers when they're committing their work and it would mark the task as either complete or progress was made on it. When you, as a developer then, if you're working away in your editor and you make a commit and you're saying something is either progressed a little or, or completed, you can put in that number that you saw in the task. If you've marked, if you're just making slight progress on it, you can include the number and write in a message like, uh, making progress or halfway there or something. The message then, rather than you as a developer getting out of your editor, going into teamwork and taking a few seconds to go into teamwork and adding a task and keeping the client up to date, this allows you to just do two, two things at once. To make your commit as you're normally doing, that message will fire into teamwork as a comment. And if you've, if you've labeled it as finished, it will reassign the task automatically then to whoever created it. So it's ready then for the client or maybe the project manager then to, to go and test it. And it gives all the details there about the work that's done, like what message you made, what files were changed in the process of this, what branch it's on, if there are branches in the project, and then a link to view the actual code itself as well. So that's useful to the, some clients have no interest in it, some clients want to go and have a look at the code as well. And to the project managers, they want to make sure that the code is somewhat, somewhat good. So to the client then, rather than just tasks disappearing and they're not knowing where things are, the task then gets reassigned to whoever created it, so they can see their own name, it, it changes color thanks to teamwork, so they can see what work is back on them to go and have a look at. And it, the title is changed to please test for them ready to go and make sure it's working. While that's happening then, we use Deploy HQ, it sits in the background, it's another service we use. That can connect directly to Bitbucket where the code is stored. It also knows then where the server where the code is supposed to go. So as soon as you make a commit and you're updating the client with teamwork, it's 
at the same time it's pushing code onto a test server. So every client we have, let's say we're working for, if the project was on domain.com, we'd usually have a subdomain test.domain.com and that's an exact copy of the live site. So work goes directly there. The client can see it's ready for testing and teamwork, then go to the test site and have a play around with it and make sure it's working. Um, De De Deploy HQ is a very useful tool to use. We've, I've tried many in the past. There's deploy.io, deploy.do, there's, there's plenty of them, but Deploy HQ is the one we keep going back to because it's very easy to use, it's low cost, and all the different commands you can have run before and after you deploy. So some of the things we have Deploy doing are when, you, when it commits to it, when, it, when we're deploying to a test site or a live site, we have it first backing up the database just in case there are any changes that are, you know, if it damages things, it can revert back quite easily backs up the test database, live database, and then as it deploys, it runs things like composer update, uh, sets permissions, if there's any permissions that need to be changed. Um, and it can even run some automated tests as well, just to make sure the fundamental things are working as well. So if there's anything ever broken, Deploy HQ will run those tests. If the tests stop for any reason or fail, Deploy HQ will stop and not deploy the work live, so it won't let anything damage go live. That's the theory anyway. So. With those things in place, the, up, the, the workflow now is a little bit more streamlined. You can, we, help, we ask clients to work directly in teamwork to put in their work, or we help them put them in, it in there. On, on the developer side, you're just working away in your editor as normal and making commits. You don't have to keep jumping back and forth between the two of them. Um, when you make your commit, Bitbucket takes in the code and fires it out onto the test site with Deploy HQ. And it just makes the developer's life a little bit easier. They're not jumping around too many things. Um, then we have certain clients that we try to make sure all clients are logging into teamwork, but sometimes that's not always the case. So this is like similar to what this is what Jared talked about earlier. We have our main support email address is support at marian.com. So e clients can email that. If they email support at marian.com, we use a service called Mailgun that receives the email. That passes it to a PHP script, and we use Limbix Tone API then to look at that text and try and determine the, the, the try and determine the sentiment of it. And if they're pissed off or if it's okay, it it puts it into teamwork and, and changes the priority to high, medium, or low, depending on how pissed off the client is. So if they say that this thing is shit, and it'll probably shoot up the list and let us all know. Um, then often, despite our best efforts, things sometimes do go wrong. And if you could deploy code and there's an error in the PHP or the database, sometimes that can cause an error. And we have, we have some functions that we put into every project that if there's a PHP error or a MySQL error, that can be posted back to teamwork and that can appear as a task straight away. So it's not, the client hopefully doesn't see it. it, it, it it's hidden from being on screen and then the, the software itself can fire stuff back into teamwork without ever, even if it's in the middle of the night and we're all at home, you can wake up in the morning, have a big list of stuff to, to keep you busy. So that tells us everything we would need to know about a bug. It tells us the date and time, the domain name it's come from, the PHP file name itself, the line number, the actual error and uh, the browser the person was using when they, when they, when they cause the error. Um, so it tells us everything we need to know, we can just go get started on the project or on the task. Um, some future plans, we're, at the moment we just have the, have, we try to make it very visible between client and developer, just try and keep those things close by. And in future we want to integrate things like New Relic is a piece of software to monitor servers to tell you if, say, disk usage or CPU usage or memory is being used a lot. If any of those things cause an error, we want those to fire back into teamwork as well. Log entries is similar. I can look at the logs from a server, and if, if there's anything that needs attention, log entries, we're going to get that to fire stuff into Teamwork. So essentially, just bring everything into one place so we know what to work on. BHAT is another tool we use for the automated testing. And if I'm just trying to complete the loop at the moment, that if, you, if a bug is, pops up in Teamwork, a BHAT test is generated automatically. Someone still has to go and write that test to make sure you know, whatever it is that broke is covered. Then if you commit against that, the test can run automatically and close itself if the test runs fully. And Bullet is another, oh yeah, Log Entries is an Irish company and Bullet is an Irish company. So it wasn't a conscious effort to use all Irish companies, but it's, it's no harm either. And Bullet is a, in a company in Dublin, they do invoices. And one of the things we'd like to do is, with some clients, we're just we're charging by the hour and at the end of the month, you can add up all the work that's done, generate an invoice automatically and send it out to them. So all we have to do is just develop away, which is what we would like to do, and not get too involved in the, the paperwork side of it. Um, if all that stuff, using Teamwork, Bitbucket, and Deploy HQ, it, it's not expensive at all. You can, in most cases, you probably have a free tier at the start. You could use Teamwork certainly for free. There's a free account. Bitbucket, you can store private and public repositories for free. You only start, they start charging for it if you have more than five users. 
Uh, Deploy HQ has a free project as well, and you could do all of that and have a nice workflow to help you get by for free or very low cost. And then getting me to set it all up for you is priceless. And that's the end.